Hello, I'm Joe Wren. People who go out for dinner or grab a drink in Monroe County will pay a 1% food and beverage tax starting in February. After five hours of public comment and discussion, the County Council voted 4-3 to three last night to pass the tax. In terms of my, the people I work with on a daily basis, uh, I don't see 10 cents on a burger or a pizza creating a substantial impact on their lives. Others say the tax is regressive and will make food insecurity an even bigger issue. The tax will fund a long-awaited expansion of the County Convention Center. Most Bloomington City Council members say they will vote to approve stricter regulations on downtown development. The group last night discussed the city's controversial proposal that would, among other things, reduce the height and density developers are automatically allowed to build. We don't want to see negotiation that allows um, improper buildings downtown for some reason that, does, that, that puts the form in danger. But some argue the changes will slow development. City Council members will vote on the proposal at next Wednesday's meeting. And a former Vigo County School District administrator has been convicted in a multi-year kickback scheme that authorities say cost the district more than $100,000. Franklin Fennell was found guilty on all counts. In September, former sheriff's deputy and school security liaison Frank Shahadi pleaded guilty in the case. He is serving a 16-month sentence. And now here's a quick check of the weather forecast for us for tonight. Mostly cloudy conditions, lows down to 22. And in the five-day forecast tomorrow, partly sunny, 36. A bit warmer, sunny on Saturday, 47. Then an 80% chance of rain and snow in the forecast the next couple of days, 44 on Sunday, 47 by Monday. More news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org.